So last time I talked about the difference between a CAD and a line sheet. And if you are not familiar with what they are and you're not sure which one you need to use, you can check out this video and it will help you make a better informed decision about which one you need. And if you've decided that you need a line sheet, keep watching. Now in the past, I've done this in Excel, but I really wanted to find something that integrated a little more seamlessly with Illustrator. And I think, adding InDesign into the mix could be the way to go. If you've never used InDesign, it's another great piece of software from Adobe, and it can do a lot of different things. We're just gonna use it in a more simple way, but what I'd like about using InDesign is that it will link your Illustrator sketches to its documents. So if you make any changes to your Illustrator designs, which you and I both know happens very often, then it will automatically update your InDesign document. So you don't have to update it in two different places. So let me show you how this works. If you've never used InDesign, you can download and install the program as long as you have a full Creative Cloud subscription. Now I have a simple InDesign template I've already created for my line sheet, and I can cover how I created it in another video. But for now, if you'd like to use this template, look for a link in the description to download it for free. Double click the file in InDesign to start editing it and adding your information. The first thing I'm going to do is open the pages panel. And as with Illustrator, if you don't see it already with the current default workspace, go to the window menu and look for pages. When the panel opens, you'll see two small thumbnails at the top right, one labeled none and the other labeled A. These are called your masters and they're basically where you can create a template if you want something to show on every page. The A master is the template that by default will show on every page. So that's the one we want to update. And to update the master to customize the information to your business, double click the A master thumbnail. The information in that master should now be active. So let's start by updating the confidentiality statement. To update, you'll need to double click the text with the selection tool, the black arrow, and you'll get a cursor that will allow you to highlight and revise the company information. And to exit text editing, just choose the selection tool again and deselect by clicking anywhere on the page, but not on the text box. Next, let's add a logo. To bring a picture into InDesign, you can either drag and drop or place it. For the logo, I'm going to drag and drop. So find your file and drag it into InDesign. There'll be a cursor that allows you to resize and place your image exactly where you want it to be. To place the image at the current size, just click once on the artboard where you want the image to be placed. To scale it down, press and hold Shift and Command or control if you're on a PC. And like Illustrator's bounding box, grab a corner to scale it to the proper size. To add your images, make sure they're saved in an Illustrator file and that each design is saved on its own artboard. I would also suggest that you resize the artboard so that it's closer to the actual size of the sketch. Next, go to File, Place. Find your file, and at the bottom of the place window, click the box to show import options. This is particularly important when you have multiple artboards in an Illustrator document. Click open, and in the next window, choose all under pages, so it allows you to import all sketches. Leave all other options as is, and click OK. Once you get your cursor to place your pictures, press and hold the mouse button and drag a box that fits in the sketch area. And once you let go, the first sketch will appear and another cursor will appear so you can place the next sketch. Repeat until all of the sketches are placed in the InDesign document. To add your text information, use the type tool to update the text box that's already there, or click and drag a text box so you can start typing. You'll notice I just created one text box and adjusted the line spacing to properly sit on each line. However, you can make separate text boxes for each line if you prefer. 
For the colors area, I have two text boxes on the template. So if you only need space for one or two colors, just select the second box with the black arrow and delete it. Now here's why I like using a design. First, if you change anything about the designs in Illustrator, it will automatically update the InDesign file. The next time you open the file, it will alert you that there's been some changes and it will ask you if you want to update. Choose Update Modified Links and whatever sketch updates you made will show in the document. The second thing I like is that you can create true templates. As we discussed earlier in the video, the masters in the pages panel create a template that repeats on every page. So if you go to the bottom of the pages panel and click the plus, it will add a new page with the template we established. And unlike Illustrator, you don't need to copy and paste it every time you make a new page. You'll also notice that I added automatic page numbers, which is also something you can't do in Illustrator. The last thing is that line sheets can be printed and handed out to buyers or given out at trade shows. However, right now, when no one's really getting in front of a buyer or going to a trade show, you're probably gonna want something that you can email and attach to someone. So you want that file to be as small as it possibly can. And even if you're sending it via Hightail or you're sending a Google Drive link, you don't want that file to be so large that it takes forever and a day for the person on the other side to download that file. So InDesign can export your files as a PDF and it will do it in a way where the, fi the final file is much smaller than something that you would create in Illustrator and it will preserve the clarity of the information and the sketches that are in the document. Now, of course, there are a few drawbacks. The first being that you're introducing a new program that you may or may not know and you may not have access to. The second issue is that because the sketches, the original Illustrator sketches are linked to the InDesign document, if you change the name of the Illustrator file or you change the location, you'll have to replace them in the InDesign file. For me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, particularly since there's always a lot of changes throughout the season and I need something that will integrate a little bit more seamlessly so that I'm not recopying sketches over and over again in different programs. So if you have access to InDesign and you are also doing a lot of updates throughout the season, this could be a method for you to consider when you're creating your line sheets. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.